All right, so today I caught the hotly anticipated rematch between console fanboy and John D. Let's jump into it. All right, here we have the hotly anticipated rematch between John D and console fanboy. Looks like John D is actually going with Ryu here, which is interesting. Instead of Guile, who seemed to be his preferred character. All right, console fanboy jumps in there. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. High fierce punch into the throw, and now he's doing a nice corner mix up, and perfect, John D. Are we entering the era of console fanboy here? All right, let's see if he can do it again. Beautiful. John D didn't expect that sweep, didn't expect that high kick. Now we got the stun into the uppercut, into the shoryuken, into the fireball, another stun, throw. We got another perfect. Oh man, console fanboy's on a new level here. This is, this is a console fanboy we haven't seen before. I'm just joshing, I'm just joshing. So I got super excited about this match because I saw both these guys go into the room and I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna catch it. Um, and it looks like, uh, wait, what's going on here? Wait, John D is playing. Oh man. So John D was idle. He let console fanboy beat him up. And then he started kind of jumping around in the next match but console fanboy left. Ah, oh, that was almost awesome. <laughs> I thought they were gonna go go at it again. They, they tricked me twice. Yeah, so I got all hyped for that. And unfortunately it wasn't a real match <laughs> as you guys saw, um, but I did catch a few other games between a couple other uh, players. So I'll share that with you guys and give you a little uh, uh, real commentary here. Yeah, so to make up for that, um, the, I did see uh, To Die For uh, play a really nice uh, DJ in Super Turbo. Um, so I ended up catching a little bit of footage against uh, Rev, who's another uh, strong player. Um, so let's let's see what kind of what kind of stuff To Die For is doing with with DJ. So we got DJ versus Vega. Which Vega's a, a really hard character to deal with in Turbo because he's super fast, can jump all over the place, can get crazy throws like that. So Vega opens up with exactly what I was expecting. Um, but, I mean, look at To Die For here. He is just moving around a lot. He's been super active with DJ, doing some really good mix-ups. Uh, that, that crouch kick um, that DJ does is freaking amazing. So he's using that there to create a little bit of space between Vega and, and just mix things up. Uh, and he, he ends up beating Vega there. So now we got, you know, Vega and DJ jumping in against each other here. Ooh, Vega takes that round very, very quickly, actually. I did not anticipate that one being quite as lopsided after the first round. DJ does a little bit of zoning to open there, trying to get Vega off. Beautiful uh, roundhouse kicks there. Uh, now he's, he's, he's starting to throw in that, that sliding kick to mix things up a little bit and keep Vega guessing. Um, but yeah, if you just look at his DJ play here, he does a really nice job with, with mix-ups. So with his Guile, he plays a very, very grounded game, uh, and he's kind of just pushing the character into the corner from the ground, uh, which I didn't expect to see his DJ played so different. Like, he's, he's all over the place, up in the air, up on the ground doing, you know, high, mid, low mix-ups. Um, so it's, it's really cool to see uh, To Die For his versatility here. Oh, and look at this, Vega takes a huge life lead again, doing some, some really nice mix-up of, of his own. Gets that nice throw on DJ, uh, but now DJ's got him in the corner, and we saw how much damage To Die For can do with his mix-ups here. Beautiful throw, some nice lows. They trade, trade again. Ooh, and we get the throw from Vega. So round one of game two goes to Rev. Nice throw from DJ to get Vega in the corner. Now he's going to start his mix-up game. Let's see if he can keep his life lead. Vega's also got a crazy range with that, that claw. 
Yeah, I think it's comparable to Guile's uh, second uh, fierce crouch kick when he does the like double fierce. And it's a it's a mid attack, which is just amazing. But yeah, those DJ mix ups so good. So yeah, to die for just demonstrates some crazy versatility here. Like he's got a solid Guile, a solid Ryu. He's got an excellent DJ, as we're seeing against a really good Vega. Vega's backing off a little bit there, starting to use those walls to to make make uh, DJ guess. Gets that throw. He's creating some space with that claw. Ooh, and then DJ comes out with that super, brings the life, uh, evens the life back up. But Vega still gets that throw off and takes the game. So it is actually one to one to die for uh, Rev each. Oh, and speak of the devil. <laughs> so to die for brings Guile out, um, who's, who he's super strong with. But Vega's just applying that super fast ranged, relatively safe pressure right away. He's doing those jump-ins to keep Guile guessing. Uh, and those jump-ins are just super powerful. Very nice flash kick to counter. Uh, now to die for starting his, his zoning game. Misses that flash kick counter. Um, but Vega's not able to capitalize on it. Gets that flash kick counter. Knocks the claw off, but Vega picks it back up. Effectively using his uh, his crouching kick to keep the range. That's that's Guile's super long, long attack. Beautiful flash kick counter. And another flash kick counter to end it. So even though he started out at 30% health, he still came back and won. <laughs> And that, that's why I love watching to die for his games. Like he he has some insane comebacks. All right, so here the guys are just trading right now. Uh, to die for is trying to, to get his zone game going. Oh, beautiful throw! Uh, and Vega is just all over the place, just trying to make him guess left, right, high, low, mid. Uh, and and there, uh, Vega takes the run. Let's see if To Die For can kind of impose as well now. We got the uh, Guile Jumping Knee, which we don't see too often from the To Die For, uh, but I, I actually love that attack as a way to uh, move up um, when you're throwing Sonic Booms and stuff. But yeah, right now he's doing a great job. He, he uh, blocked Vega's attacks, started his own assault, got Vega in the corner uh, with that throw, and just applied a ton of his own pressure. Nice counter flash kick there. Did not get that next counter flash kick though, oof. And double KO, I actually thought Vega had a sliver of health there. So uh, to die for opens it up with a flash kick counter, that was beautiful. Guys are trading now, misses that flash kick counter and eats some punishment from Vega. Gets that counter though. And Guile super is already charged too, gets another counter. Let's see if we're gonna see a Guile super uh, in this matchup. Beautiful play from To Die For here. He's just getting those flash kick counters off so fast. Uh, and nice even match again. Oh, would have been crazy if we got a second double KO. I was, I was secretly hoping for it internally. Um, yeah, these, these freaking matches are so good. All right, so looks like uh, To Die For sticking with Guile, um, but looks like Rev is thinking about changing it up. I mean, he was doing great with his Vega. I'm, I'm surprised he switched up, uh, but now, now he's playing Ryu. Let's see what he's got with Ryu. Flash kick counter to open it up. Rain, using uh, Guile's long kicks to, to maintain the range that Guile wants. Yeah, look at that. It's hard for Ryu to do some of his uh, shorter counter attacks. Hurricane kick gets him back in though, and uh, Guile eats part of that Hurricane kick. Guile's still doing some effective zoning and ranging, um, but Ryu just gets, is doing some serious work on those jump-ins and uh, is able to take it. Let's see if Rev can get his game two here. Uh, gets punished for the hurricane kick with that jumping knee that I love. And then Guile zones him with that kick, gets his own sonic boom going, but eats a fireball. Uh, he's trying to trade. We saw this before in the other To Die For game. 
Uh, he's good with trading a uh, fireball with a fierce kick because his kick is going to do more damage than that fireball does. A nice flash kick counter to that jump. Um, so this, this round was a little more lopsided than the last few. Alright, we got a Shoryuken to open things up. Uh, and Guile's eating some punishment, got taken in the corner. Flash kick counter to the hurricane kick. Uh, now he's starting his, his push out. Um, very nice. Gets thrown by Ryu. Ooh, hurricane kick gets punished again. So let's see if if, uh, if Rev is going to keep keep running those hurricane kicks, because looks like uh, To Die For has those figured out. He's just punishing them with throws on every hurricane kick. So 3-1 to die for. Nice flash kick to open up against Vega. Looks like Rev switched back to Vega. So I think he felt he was he had more control there. Um, these mix-ups are just amazing. Like, look how fast they are. But Guile just seems to be getting the hang of, of both these characters. He's consistently getting those flash kick counters off. Um, and to die for throws him out so fast, like I barely see that that crouch priming uh, for the flash kick. It just sees, seems shooting him out as soon as Vega goes in the air, uh, and then closes it with that nice throw. Um, Vega gets the throw that time uh, when they're next to each other. Guile backs off there instead of going for a mix up. He just took a second to recalibrate. Nice flash kick counter, slowly, slowly dissipating the Vega's life lead. Doing some nice ranging with the uh, with the crouching kick there, but Vega gets in there, punishes the uh, whiff from Guile, and throws him. All right, Guile opens it up with a throw. Vega opens up with his own throw. Both guys are seem to be really respecting each other's play here. No one's trying to be overly aggressive. Guile is the defensive character, Vega is the offensive character, so I think that uh, to die for is letting Vega apply some of the pressure so that he can play this strong counter game, uh, which is what we saw there. Um, so he just countered all Vega's attacks and pushed out a little bit, countered some more attacks, and that was enough to take, take out Vega's life bar. Alright, so we got Guile, Vega again, going into game six here between these guys. We got a throw from Vega. Nice mix up from Vega. Ooh, another nice throw from Vega. And finishes it with the crouch. Let's see if he can take game, his second game here. Nice flash kick counter from Guile. We're getting used to seeing that. Nice throw from Guile. Another nice throw from Guile. Oh my goodness. But Vega's, Vega's get, catching up with those mix-ups, gets that throw, gets a second throw of his own, and takes game two. And it looks like the guys exited here. So 4-2 uh, to die for wins. But overall, that seemed like some really, really even matchups. So yeah, sorry for punking you guys earlier with that uh, John D. console fanboy match. But uh, I thought it'd be fun to share it. I got super excited when I saw them jump in a room together. So I thought that that was, uh, you know, the big rematch that we've been trying not to push for and hype up as the community, but it wasn't to be. Um, but hopefully either way, you enjoyed the video.